what effect will permitting, just the generic side of that, have on our 2014 market among the municipals, Pinellas, Pasco, and Hillsborough? Permitting is something that affects commercial real estate. And Stan, you want to hit it? It's not only permitting, it's also zoning. And the, the various municipalities all have their own different ways of handling the zoning issues. So when we list a property or sell a property, in Pinellas as an example, if, if it's in the Seminole, it's one zoning, and if it's in Pinellas County, it's another, and if it's Largo, it's another, and it becomes a nightmare because you don't know what you can do or what you can't do. And I would like to see some kind of generic zoning uh, permitting uh, happen throughout the Tampa Bay area, throughout Pinellas, throughout Hillsboro, and also Pasco County, so that you know if something is C2 zoning, you can do X number of things with it, or C1. But the way it is now, you have to actually go to the municipality to find out exactly what they do, and it slows the entire process. And we really don't know what to do with a particular property. Melissa. I think the, the permitting side of things, I think all of the local governments, at least in Hillsborough County, have put a big focus on trying to speed things up and, and be more customer friendly. Um, I do think Stan hit on a, an interesting con concept with the zoning aspect. I think um, a lot of the easy sites are already gone. Um, what, what I'm seeing is from a rezoning standpoint, a lot of them are a lot more controversial. Um, you've got neighborhoods who don't want to see that type of change go in. Um, uh, they have environmental impacts. The, a lot of the, the easy, low-hanging fruit, so to speak, sites are, um, are, are already taken. All right. Anybody else? Uh, just on the lending side, I'll, I'll comment that uh, we've get to the closing table so many times and all of a sudden the buyer finds out that they can't get a permit to build or expand or whatever the case might be, and it shuts it down at closing and everybody loses. So I would definitely get to know your permitting and zoning laws before you list that property and, and know your buyer and what his intentions are for that property. Jim? Well, with regard to uh, permits for manufacturing and, and other developments, and we, we get involved with many of those, uh, we, we, as I mentioned earlier, we have a couple of industries, large industries, which are looking at, at this area. And in our discussions with them, uh, both of these industries and other industries we work with always ask, how quickly will the permit be issued? How, how much can we rely upon the city, the county, or the state to address the permit issues expeditiously and get the answers? I've never had any of these industries say, well, we don't want to follow or we don't want to abide by the environmental issues. They always say, and they, and they mean this, they, they want to abide by the issues, the environmental regulations, but they do not want to be held up uh, in a process which goes on, in some cases, forever. Uh, I, I know of um, a couple of these industries have, in fact, reached out to the top levels of the state for assurance that any permit process governed by the state will be handled expeditiously and not delayed. That's what, that is a very important issue for our new manufacturing companies. I was talking to one of our national builders yesterday and uh, it takes them, I said, well, how long would it take to build this home? He said eight months. And, uh, but two of those were permitted. And these are already uh, developed lots ready to go. So. If you're a buyer out there and you want, you need to be in at a certain time, if you say four or five months, I mean, that's doable. But when you say eight months, I don't know how many people that would deter from buying a new home, maybe go back to an existing home if they're available. But two months for a permit after it's already been zoned and ready to, ready to go. Now, sometimes zoning and permitting can be a bad thing. But like anything else, real estate chases in our business, somebody dies, divorce, things happen, separation. For the, some of us, when a guy comes into your office and says, you know, I was working with a buy owner situation and I moved into my building, I've been there six months and I'm in the medical business and I found out the building wasn't zoned for medical. Now I have to move five doctors out. That could be good. This is a hurry, hurry up thing. They want to move quick and they're a client. The bad thing is then the city delays and says we'll give them more grit. But 
So there can be an effect on you as a practitioner in the business that can benefit from that if it's done because they didn't do it right. 